only sending out emails to your list when you have something to promote, you need to stop doing that. Hey, I'm Laura Gachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media. And today we are going to talk about what people are doing wrong with email marketing. We have a lot of resources for you about email marketing, digital marketing, and any and all topics about scaling and growing your business. So if that's something you need, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos we put out. Also, like and comment on this video video so we can reach more people. You know, there was a time when a lot of people, even some marketers, thought that email was on its way out and everything would be about Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. But now we're in 2022 and email is more important than ever. In fact, Forbes predicted that in 2022, it's going to be the most important channel for marketers. And then email is an incredibly effective tool to help you connect with your audience and convert them into raving fans. And if it hasn't been working for you, you may be committing some of these email marketing <laughs> Number one, only emailing when you have something to promote. I see a lot of new businesses do this. They only send out product emails or emails on discounts or their emails are essentially just about selling. Your current subscribers have either already bought something from you, downloaded a freebie, or signed up to your newsletter from a link on your website or social media. Not all of them are ready to buy. Many of them are there to learn more about your service or industry or just about you and they need nurturing if you just keep selling to them and don't share any useful information they're going to figure out that you're not going to give them any value and essentially and eventually unsubscribe or just stop opening your emails which can affect your email performance and number two not setting up any email sequences if you have an email list then you're probably using email marketing software like uh, MailChimp, which I hate, or ActiveCampaign, which is a little bit better. These email softwares have a lot of features that let you automate sending out emails based on your customer's actions from subscribing to your newsletters to clicking on a link. Email marketing softwares can do the work from nurturing your leads to selling for you even while you sleep, so take advantage of it. Number three, not paying attention to your email list because because you only have a few subscribers. I hear this a lot and, and oh, we don't really have an email marketing plan in place because we only have 20 subscribers. Listen, it doesn't matter if you have 10 or a thousand subscribers. If there are people who took the time out of their day to give you their email, treat them like the important customers they are. Not to mention that these first few subscribers you have are your, you know, day ones. They believed in your business before anyone else. So you want to take care and nurture them so you can convert them into loyal repeat customers. Number four, making your emails too image heavy. We get the temptation of making, you know, our emails super pretty with images and templates, but these tend to actually alienate customers rather than entice them. Images are supposed to highlight your content, not be the content. You also have to think about customers who open their emails on mobile, and if it takes too long to load, they're just going to click out. And finally, number five, making the first line of your email unforgettable. The subject line has to capture their attention. That's a given, but how much thought do you put into the first line of your email think of it this way when you're skimming an article the first line tells you if you want to scroll down more would your emails first line make your reader want to scroll down or click out don't waste it on how's it going or I hope this email finds you well <laughs> which of these things are you doing right now and what steps are you going to take to make it right if you saw something helpful please give this video a like and leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll try to answer them for you. See you guys in the next video.